the mission of the kingdom of heaven in all of our congregations? What shifts do we need to make as a presbytery in the way that we do it? What values or habits or ways of behavior need to shift in order to do so? Let me give you an illustration of this from my own confessions as a woeful weekend warrior. For most of my life, I've been an athlete of some kind. Played soccer as a kid, six years. Soccer, four years as all-star. Um, went on to high school, became the captain of the wrestling team, graduated from high school, and decided that because I was an athletic kind of guy, I would try to keep myself uh, in shape best I could, being your basic guy who would do some hiking on occasion, some skiing on occasion, pick up basketball whenever we could. Mark Roberts used to roll me around the old gym at Hollywood Press as often as we could get together to try to, see that, to, try to stay in shape and stay athletic. Thought I was doing fine. Until uh, six months before my 40th birthday, my cousin invited me to go with him on a 30-minute jog. Hadn't jogged in a while, but that's okay. Played a lot of basketball, done a lot of hiking, done a lot of skiing. I'm sure I can do that. 30 minutes for Advil, a pant panting on the couch, wondering how I could possibly have gotten so far out of shape. I realized that being a weekend warrior was killing me. I, was, I thought I could do the things I'd done when I was younger. But there had been a shift in my circumstances. I'd gotten older. My metabolism had gotten slower. And when I got on the scale when I got home from vacation, I found that I was 30 pounds heavier. Obviously, weekend warrioring it was not going to keep me in shape. A friend of mine encouraged me to take on long, slow aerobic activity, to which I began to run, to swim to ride a bike like Steve's with little clips and funny shoes <laughs> and little seats. Six months later, I did the California Half Ironman. 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike, 13 mile run. Slowly, I don't want to tell you, but I did it. What did it take? It didn't come from trying harder. I had to relearn stuff. I had to learn how to ride a bike again with the little seat and the clips and stuff. I had to learn how to run so as not to hurt yourself. It's hard to run when you're as old as we are. Knees give out and hips give out. And I particularly had to learn how to swim. People asked me if it was really hard to do the Ironman that I did two years later. I said, not nearly as hard as walking out on the deck of a pool deck in a Speedo when you're 30 pounds overweight. <laughs> It took humility, it took an ability and a desire on my part to learn. And mostly what I had to do is I had to stop trying so hard. I couldn't play more basketball, I couldn't get more hiking in, I couldn't do the weekend warrior thing with more intensity. I had to shift from trying harder to training differently. Remember that great quote that Steve has been using all the time? At the moment of crisis, you will not rise to the occasion. You will default to your training. Watch what we do whenever it feels like we're in a crisis. We default, naturally, to that which we are best at. I've been a pastor for 20 years in one form or another. What I'm best at is talking. When there's a crisis in the church, I talk it to death. Hopefully with a microphone, usually with some kind of authority, mostly longer than most people want to hear. But what I've found is after years of trying to talk our biggest problems to death, things weren't changing. We've got to learn how to go from trying to training, and that includes the way we do presbytery. 